All right, welcome back everybody, welcome back and may the Lord bless you. I pray everybody's still having a wonderful, wonderful, blessed day. I'm going to dive right into this video as we give the Lord the honor, the glory, and all the praise. My title now says, I want a tattoo because everybody else has one. I want a tattoo because everybody else has one, or everybody is getting one. Just a real talk video here, y'all. Um, last year in May, I believe it was back in May, I did a video on her about Christians and tattoos. And we know uh, this is a um, touchy subject. Some say it's a sin. Some say it's not a sin. It's each to their own, you know, what you believe. Well, I'm going to say what the word says. And uh, y'all know, out of love, I'm not condemning no one or judging no one. Y'all already know that. Because since I've been talking about these demonic spirits so much. Y'all notice on her a lot I've been exposing Satan and exposing these demons and all this stuff we see going on in the world and in the church. Satan and his mess. Well, let's go ahead and do an updated video about this tattoos and go a little bit deeper coming from a different angle. Because everybody I know, um, it's, it's not everybody, but the majority, let me say that right, forgive me. But the majority of people that I know um, are marking themselves up and they're getting addicted to it, y'all. And it's not what we know that hurt us, it's what we don't know. We oftentimes see so many people rushing to grab, uh, not grab, but get a tattoo. But my question is, have we really studied God's word and see what the Lord have a problem with? Yes. Now, I know it's a lot of people that already had tattoos before they came to Christ. So once again, let, let me say this off top, you know, this is not to condemn you in no kind of way because a lot of people have already had tattoos before they came into Christ. But it was a young man the other day, he was about 16, I believe, and he asked me, JT, what you think about me getting a tattoo with scriptures on my own? I want to get, I want to get, um, what is that, um... Paul. Uh, first, um, I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. If I'm not mistaken, that's uh, Philippians 4 and 13. Or 44 and 13. I want to say 4 and 13. Y'all forgive me because I'm trying to go off the top of my head. But he wanted that scripture where I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. And I see a lot of people with that scripture. So we got to talking about tattoos and I asked him have you ever studied about where tattoos come from? You know, to give him some knowledge because the Bible teaches us and all our getting, we get a what? An understanding. And the problem with us is we, we so quick to jump off into things but not getting the history on it, not going to the word and, and understanding is it of God or not of God. So we had a nice conversation and um, one of the main scriptures, I know we all are familiar with this, Leviticus what? 19 and 28 because Leviticus 19 and 28 it tells you it says you should not make any cuts in your body for the dead nor make any tattoo marks on yourselves I am the Lord now the Lord said this not me but when you read that scripture very slowly you shall not make any cuts in your body for the dead now notice it said for the dead keep that in mind in this video for the dead, nor make any tattoo marks on yourselves. I am the Lord. Now it was a reason, y'all, why the Lord said this. Don't mark yourselves. Don't cut yourselves. Now some of us gonna say, well, that's just Old Testament, man. You know that. Hey, man, that was dealing with Israel. The Lord didn't want them to look like nobody. Well, I'm gonna take this a step further. You know in the Old Testament, that's where a lot of cults come from, y'all. It started from, in the Old Testament, a lot went on. Because that was the natural, see the natural law back then, because they was natural people. What do you mean by that, JT? A lot of them didn't have the spirit of the Lord inside of them. How can you operate in the spirit if you don't have a clue on what the spirit is and don't know what the spirit is? And you wonder why you saw the priests in the Old Testament. That's why they had to have a priest to go before them. 
They sins. And if that priest wasn't right, well, y'all already know the end of that story. What would happen to the priest if that priest wasn't right? So this is deeper than what we think it is, y'all. We often do things in life without studying. And God had a problem with the markings on the body. That's why I want to tie this in with when you don't have the spirit. When you don't have the spirit of the Lord, you are liable to do anything, y'all. But when you know better, you're supposed to do better. I'm so glad that Christ came for us. At grace and mercy, he died. He set us free. And a lot of us are still walking around in bondage, y'all. Now, I know a lot of people are not going to agree with this video. But let's go a little bit deeper in this video, y'all. Because most people I know don't understand that markings of the flesh is demonic. Yeah, I'm talking about your brother. I'm talking about your cousin. I'm talking about your kin folks, people you know, your best friend. They, a lot of them don't, I ain't saying everybody, but a lot of them don't understand that marking your body is demonic. It's pretty much witchcraft. Witches started up this stuff. The devil. 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 19. Go back to what Paul was saying. He said, what say I then? That the idol is anything or that which is offered and sacrificed to idols is anything. Notice he was talking about idols. When you look at 1 Corinthians chapter 10, read that whole chapter. But when you get around verse 19, now go back and, and compare this verse 19 with Leviticus um, 19 and 28. You'll see something. Idol worship. Idol worship, y'all. Matter of fact, when you look at verse 20, it says, But I say that the things which the Gentiles sacrifice, they sacrifice to devils. Uh-oh. And not to God. And I would not that ye should have fellowship with devils. Read that whole chapter. So when you see these markings, and I'm talking about according to the scripture, this is what tattoos is. You're associating with the devil. You allowed me. Am I condemning you? No, I love you once again. I'm not. I'm just bringing out some truth. If you want to know some, study. Excuse me. The Lord didn't want Israel being like those other people, those other nations who was all up in that idol worship, that idolatry, that wickedness. That's what got um. That's what got Solomon in trouble. We just talked about Solomon the other day. Those women that he loved. He couldn't stop being around them. They messed him up. His heart got turned from the Lord at the end. The man with all the wisdom. So don't think that when you see this stuff in the Bible, oh, it's just it's just done for us to just say, well, you know, that was for them. No, it's for us too, y'all. Because I don't think a lot of us understand how demonic this tattooing is. Nowadays, you got more people who claim to be Christians. They look just like the world. The Lord don't want us to look like the world. We're supposed to be the light of the world. So when you look at these idols, tattoos, these markings, the main reason, y'all, why the Lord showed us not to make marks on our body, because that was the very reason why other people worship idols. They would cut themselves, mark themselves. Look at that man in the Bible, that uh, legion, we are many. No man could tame him. Jesus had to cast them demons out of him. That man was cutting himself up. When you see people doing this stuff, they are worshiping the devil. Now some of us are going to say, well, it ain't, but, but, ain't no harm in it, man. There ain't no harm in it. Well, what do you see? When you study and you start talking about idols, as a matter of fact, Apostle Paul called them idols devils. That's what Paul called them. Now, we talked about this, what was that, two weeks ago, about the, uh, the wicked music industry and satanic, the demons and all of that stuff. We talked about that. 
And then I mentioned how everybody want to be on American Idol. Now you want to, you want to, you want to have something to think about tonight. Think of just that title alone, American Idol. I'm not saying everybody is wicked, y'all. I'm saying, look at how many people want to be a star. They want to be an idol. They want, they want that popularity. They want to win. They want, they want people to know who they are. They want the fortune. They want the fame. You are the American Idol. People love to worship idols. But how many of us want to be like the most high? So when you when you when you study, people would cut themselves, they would cut their bodies to worship demons. So why in the hell would I want to put a tattoo on my body? Sorry, I don't want one. I don't have any. I don't have no pierces. Back then, I was ignorant when I was 17, 18. I got my ears pierced. Why? Because my brother did it. My twin brother. He said, you might as well go and get yours, man. I got mine. I said, you know what? I might as well. I didn't even know why I was getting them. Thought the earrings was going to make me look better or something. You know what I did when I started coming to the truth? Let my holes close up. I'm the only one of my brothers who don't have a tattoo. And they're always wondering, why, well, when you going to get one, dog, you need to get a tattoo, man. You need to be like the rest of us. See, that's the problem with us. We always want to be like somebody else. If we would spend more time trying to be like Jesus, Yahshua, oh, how better would our lives be, y'all. So when I point out stuff like this, it's not to condemn you. I want you to go study on why you do what you do. Because it's demonic. Just like celebrating Halloween, you celebrating the devil, witchcraft, you name it, sorcery. In the Bible, one woman made money off of, off of fortune telling, sorcery. Paul had to cast them demons out of her. The danger in this mess, y'all. So that's why the Bible teaches you, don't mark yourself. Because it's all about the devil, demons. The Lord don't play no part of this. Now, by me saying I don't have no tattoos, no piercing, that's not for me to say I'm better. I'm not saying that I'm better than y'all. I'm saying this is what I chose in my life. When people ask me why you ain't going to get a tattoo, I tell them these scriptures and have a real talk with them. A lot of people call me weird because you're not trying to do what everybody else do. You must be weird, man. I just don't do it. I'm not weird. You know what I am? I'm delivered. I'm set apart. I'm not trying to look like what the world is doing. So if you want to call me weird, go ahead. I'm a child of the king. I'm not trying to get high. I'm not trying to get drunk. I'm not trying to run the women. I'm not trying to live a crazy lifestyle. I don't have had my share of that. Why would I want to go back into that when now I know better? I am a new creature in Christ. Man, most people I know got scriptures tattooed on their body and they don't even have a clue on what the scriptures is that they got on their body. And they love to show it. Let me tell you something, y'all. Putting tattoos on your body does not make you holy. I don't care what scripture you got on your arm, on your chest. You can put a cross on your chest, the praying hands, the Bible. Don't none of that make you holy. You know why? Salvation is an inside job. Your heart is what matters. It don't make you no important, no more important than the next person. See, the reason why I gotta teach this like this, y'all, because when you have the Holy Spirit, now notice I'm saying when you have the Holy Spirit, when you have the Holy Spirit, anything that God hates. You're going to start hating. You should. If God don't like it and got a problem with it, you should find yourself having a problem with it. Problem is we want to keep fitting in. We want to keep fitting in. We got more idol worship now than anything, y'all. See, because I want to tie this in with blood sacrifices. And also, when you go back, even in the Bible, it was always blood. When you get tattoos, when you carve in your arm, anytime you start cutting, what's the first thing you see? Blood. Because 
The highest sacrifice is a blood sacrifice. When you cut your flesh, when blood is coming out, and you're doing what others are doing, and it's not what the Lord have commanded you to do, you are allowing the demons to take over you. Man, there's it's some cats I know, man. They, they don't even have no more room on anybody left for a tattoo. Even when you look in the NBA, you see a lot of a lot of the NBA basketball players, or you see them, you know, tattooed up. And then you got the little children looking and say, I'm gonna get that tattoo. I wanna be just like that. I want that. Mike Tyson got the one over his eye, didn't he? Did the Lord command us to do any of this? So the Lord is still saying, I don't want you to look. Like a devil. I don't want you to play no part of demonic spirits and do what demons do. I want you to be set apart. I want you to be different. I don't want you to mark your body. When did the Lord ever change it? Hmm. We want to do what everybody else is doing. It's a lot of idols out here, y'all. It's a lot of idols. You remember back in the day, a young man would always say, I want to be, I want to be like Mike. I want to be like Michael Jordan. I don't have nothing against Michael Jordan. Nothing at all. But I'm just using him for an example because every, pretty much every young basketball player, young kid, young, young boy wanted to be like Mike. Now a lot of them want to be like LeBron James. I want to be like Kobe Bryant. I want to be like this person. I want to be like this person. But when it comes to I want to be like the Lord, how can you be like something you don't, how can you be like someone you don't know nothing about? That's why we need to know about the Lord. I wish I could even hear grown folks say, I wish I could, I, I want to be like the Lord. People, what they are doing, y'all, with this, with this stuff, they are sacrificing to idols and they don't even know it. And we wonder why these spirits are so heavy, y'all. One thing I can never understand is why so many women, and you got some men do it too, but why so many women would put their boyfriend or their baby daddy name tattooed on them. And then look what happened. Split up. And then you got people that love to put dead loved ones on them. Man, I don't want none of my loved ones that have passed on tattooed on my body. It's just me now, y'all. Everybody's different. But according to the Bible, you don't do it. When you go back to them witch folks, witches, this is where tattoos come from. Demonic. I'm, I'm going to say that again in this video. Witches. Witches is what you see, y'all. I know some of y'all going to get mad at me for doing this video, but trust me, this, this is not to condemn you once again, but this is out of love for us to understand because everything that we think is good is not always good for us. And just because you might say something ain't a sin, that don't mean you should go run and jump up and do it because, oh man, my brother did it. My best friend did it. This is why the Bible teaches us in Matthew 7, it's going to be a whole lot of people going toward destruction who really think they're really on their way to heaven, but they are on their way to destruction, that wide gate that Jesus spoke about, because those people are really thinking they're on their way to the kingdom, and they really believe they can get you there, but they're on their way to destruction. Witches, this is why I want to teach this about tattoos, because when you go back to witchcraft, witches... That's how they would mark people. They would mark people as a spirit. You see voodoo. You see all this stuff. The Bible shows us. All of it ties in together. This is why people are so mad at me when I talk about Halloween and Easter. Pretty much all these holidays. They mad at the truth. Now what you want to do is what you want to do that's fine. I just, I just try to bring out some truth and I go on about my business. We don't need no marks on us, y'all. You know why? Because the Lord already know who we are. The Lord told us we didn't need to mark ourselves. The Lord don't play a part of evilness. These evil spirits and habits, the markings, the cra not the cravings, but the carvings in your flesh. 
So now do you see what the purpose for what the tattoos, the carvings was? It had nothing to do with the Lord, y'all. That's why when God said he was going to put a mark on Cain after Cain killed Abel, it never said it was a physical mark, did it? See, that's something we miss even with God. He didn't have to put no physical mark on Cain. Why? Because the Lord know who we are. He know all the number of hairs on our head. That's why the mark of the beast is so mistaught to me. Just my opinion. You know why? You know where my mark is in my heart. This is my, this is my mark for God right here. I'm marked by my heart for the Lord. Some of us will say circumcision of the heart. The heart is what the Lord sees. That's why I don't have to put no marks on my body. I look at. I was having a conversation with one of my sisters the other day. Because she have her dead sister tatted on her arm. She have her dead brother tatted on her other arm. Every time somebody dies, she put it on their body. She goes to the grave site. Do I go to the grave sites? No. I have no reason to go to the graves. I don't have Just me. I don't want a dead person name on me. You know what would happen to me if I was to start tatting, getting a tattoo, everybody done died on me? Man, you know how many nightmares I start having? Crazy thoughts. I leave the dead with the dead. Y'all will catch that later. That's putting a death mark on me if I do that. I don't want nothing dead on me. The Lord I serve is not dead. My, my Heavenly Father is alive. I'm alive. Death is separation. That's why I say, and then when you get one tattoo, it's an addiction. It ain't no different than anything else. How many people you know right now are addicted to tattoos? They love it. i close with this, y'all. There's one woman I used to talk to. When we got to sleeping around. Let me keep it real with y'all in this video. Y'all know I don't I ain't got time to be sitting on here acting like I ain't never done nothing wrong. Come on. When we was sleeping around the first time, y'all hear what I said the first time. The first time I snatched her clothes off, this woman had three tattoos on her. Three different men. One of them was baby daddy, another one was baby daddy, and another one was baby daddy. Yeah, three different baby daddy. JT, what you doing messing with somebody like that? That's when I was lost, y'all. I ain't scared to admit what I used to do. Yes, I done had my shirt horn around. And that was a turn off for me when I saw them name. I said, who is this one? Who is this on your back? What What is this? I said, man, that's a turn off for me. Until she turned me back on. Y'all, y'all, y'all catch what I'm saying. What why you say something so stupid like that, JT? Let me get real with y'all. When you start sleeping around with these evil spirits, when those spirits jump in you, when you think you just having sex, that's it. And you wonder why you acting like that person. How is it that demon got in me? And it, 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 I, I wasn't like that at first. Or this person wasn't like that at first. I done had some demons in me before. Oh, yeah. I ain't going to sit here and lie. Because I was sleeping around with some folk that didn't want nothing to do with the Lord. Thank God for Jesus. Thank the Lord for the change in my life. I looked at them tattoos, and then after a while, like I said, she turned me on. I didn't, I didn't care nothing about them tattoos no more. Man, I, look, I looked at what it was going on in that bedroom. Sex. Didn't care nothing about no name no more. See, the thing is, when you think that these things can't get inside of you, if you ain't careful with what you're doing, you better think again, y'all. So I learned a valuable lesson about tattoos. I learned a valuable lesson about everything, y'all. And I'm still learning. But we wanna we wanna sit up all the time and act like we perfect. No. How many of y'all done hold around, fellas, with the wrong woman? Throw up both of my hands. How many of y'all have women? How many times have you done slept around with the wrong man? Can I, can I keep it all the way real? Because see, some of y'all religious folks, y'all if y'all listening, y'all might want to jump off right here. Ladies, how many penises have you put in your mouth? 
How many times you done let a man run up in your rear end? How many times have you done done all of this? And you don't see nothing wrong with it. I'm still in the spirit, y'all, even though some of y'all ain't going to agree with this. Fellas, how many times have we put our mouth on the woman? I'm talking to myself on down. It's time to get real in this video. This transferring spirits with all sex. Sex, sex. We ain't married. Disease is flying everywhere. Somebody, somebody gonna hear this and get delivered. All of this stuff, Satan loves. Demonic. Transferring the spirits. You releasing inside of her, fellas. And we wondering why we messed up because we thinking with the wrong head. If we would just do what the Bible say and renew our minds, practice new things, wouldn't be no wouldn't be no such thing of us walking around here always living in sin, talking about I gotta repent every day. I'm waiting on this. I'm waiting on that from the Lord. We need to just be obedient. Y'all, I'm going to go ahead and close for now because I got to get ready to get out of here. It's, it's 2 o'clock for me. I got to go back to work. So with that being said, y'all take care and have a blessed day. Peace.